Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. Welcome back to Java Guides. In this video, I want to show you how to create an Angular application and how to deploy it on a production on Heroku. Alright guys, first we're going to create a new brand Angular application and then we'll configure our Angular application properly to deploy on production that is on Heroku Cloud. As usual, I'm going to show you uh, how to create and deploy angular application to heroku step by step we're going to follow very simple steps and uh, yeah so here are the steps first we're going to create angular application and then we'll configure our angular application to deploy properly on heroku cloud and then we host the source code of this angular application on github and then we log into heroku and we create a new brand app on heroku and then we'll connect our github repository to heroku app Alright guys, in this way we're gonna create and deploy Angular application on Heroku Cloud. So let's go ahead and let's first create Angular application. So in order to create an Angular application, first you need to install uh, Node.js and we're gonna use VS Code ID to develop Angular application. So make sure that you install Visual Studio Code ID on your machine and also make sure that you install Angular CLI on your machine. Alright guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and let's create Angular application. Open VS Code ID in some folder on your file system. For example, I have opened VS Code ID in deployment folder. Go ahead and open terminal. And we're gonna create Angular application using a terminal that is integrated terminal in VS Code ID. So just make sure that you have installed a node and npm so for that just type node hyphen v to check node version and npm hyphen v to check npm origin all right and we need to also install angular cli right for that if we haven't installed angular cli then just use this command all right i have already installed angular cli in my uh, you know uh, system so I just want to check the angular CLI version here by using ng hyphen hyphen version command. So look at here. So we are going to use angular 10 which is the latest release of angular right now. Uh, okay. And look at here. We are also using the latest release of angular CLI. Alright guys. Great. Let's go ahead and let's create angular application. Just type ng new and followed by name of the project. Let's give project name as angular app hyphen heroku all right so this is the name of our project hit enter so here it says would you like to add angular routing so say no because we are not going to add routing we are going to create a very simple application so let's wait for a couple of minutes it will install all the packages yeah here we go so our angular application is successfully created using angular cli so this is the default folder structure of our angular application and this is the app all right and inside src folder all the development goods and this is the node underscore modules folder it has all the uh, javascript modules and packages so now uh, if you type ng serve it will give you an error because you need to move to the project first and then you can use ng serve to start uh, angular application just type cd followed by name of the project now you are in a, a project folder now just type ng serve all right guys i hope you guys are following the steps so this will uh, you know launch angular application in local development server which will run on port 4200 let's wait a couple of seconds it will compile and deploy angular application on local development server so look at here angular live development server is listening localhost 4200 head over to the chrome browser and just type localhost colon 4200 yeah here we go so we have created angular application successfully and we have deployed and here we go the angular app heroku is running successfully so once we have created angular application let's take a look into the next step next step is we need to configure angular application to deploy properly on heroku so if we deploy this newly created angular application on Heroku, it won't work because we need to do some changes uh, in angular application to you know deploy properly on Heroku. So I have also created a blog uh, post on this topic. So let me uh, head over to the blog post over there. I have given us some steps that we can uh, use to 
configure our angular application to deploy properly on Heroku okay so guys this is the blog post that I have recently published on my website and I have created uh, you know uh, this tutorial step by step so now we need to configure our angular application to deploy properly on Heroku right so here are the very simple steps uh, that we can follow to configure our angular application to deploy properly on Heroku first step is we need to ensure that uh, you have the latest version of angular CLI and angular compiler CLI so in uh, my case I have created a new angular application so it must be a latest uh, you know version of angular CLI and angular compiler CLI but if your angular application is old then make sure that you have you have installed a latest uh, version of angular CLI and angular compiler CLI just copy this command and uh, install the latest uh, angular CLI and angular compiler CLI all right so if you go to the package.json so look at here I have opened package.json file and if you go to the de dev dependencies section you can see here angular CLI and angular compiler CLI so just I have created angular application so it must be the latest release of angular CLI and angular compiler CLI in my case all right so this is the first step and second step is you need to copy these dependencies from dev dependencies to dependencies section all right so look at here uh, within a package.json file we have dev, dev dependencies and dependencies all right so from dev dependencies we need to copy angular CLI angular compiler CLI and TypeScript so these are the three dependencies we need to copy from dev dependencies to dependencies section so let me quickly copy it it's pretty simple right once we copy these dependencies from dev dependencies to dependencies then let's take a look into the next step we need to create a Heroku post build script in package.json all right so just copy this and again go to the package.json and let's go to the scripts section here and comma and then just paste it here so this will basically build our angular application uh, for production all right it's very simple next step is we need to add node and npm engine to uh, package.json so we need to uh, tell Heroku you know which version of node and npm that we have used to uh, develop angular application uh, on our local machine so for that we need to give these engines uh, name and this uh, version here so let's just copy this and go to the package.json file again and scroll down go to the at end and comma and just paste it here so make sure that you will give the node version here that uh, you have used to create this angular application and also the npm version all right so in my case node version is 12.18.2 but in your case it may be different all right now the next step is we need to install server to run our angular application so in case of local development uh, we, we can use the local development server to deploy our angular application but in production we need to create a express.js uh, server right for that let's go ahead and let's copy this command and install this express.js uh, let me just copy this so this will install express.js and it will add the uh, entry to package.json that let me show you once it will complete the installation so look at here express.js is successfully installed and if you see the dependencies section in package.json uh, entry is added all right once we have installed uh, express.js uh, on our local machine let's take a look into the next step so we have just installed uh, express.js right now we're gonna create 
server.js file and we need to add this fixed line of code so let me just create a server.js file go to the project and new file so look at here this is the xpgs server code that we need to copy and paste it in server.js file so let me quickly copy this paste it here so in previously we have installed xpgs right that we can get it from this line of code and then look at here this is the angular project name so make sure that you you will replace this with your angular application name and this is the port that uh, xpgs server will listen so pretty simple guys so next step is we need to change uh, start command in package.json with this so let me just copy this uh, package.json and here is a start so let me just replace with this one okay save the file and the next step is yeah that's it so these are the uh, seven steps that uh, we have to configure in our angular application to deploy properly on heroku so this is uh, the step by step guys you just uh, follow these steps once we configure angular application to deploy properly on heroku next step is we need to host a source code of our you know angular application on github let's head over to the uh, browser and log into github and click on new button and let's give a name to the repository uh, like angular hyphen app hyphen heroku all right so this is our github repository name and let's give a description like deploy angular app to heroku something like that and hit create uh, repository button so this will create a new brand uh, github repository all right guys now let's go ahead and let's use these commands to push a source code up our local angular application to remote github repository let me open a folder in file system and right click on folder and use git bash so i'm going to use git and git bash to you know push source code on github so I have already initialized this repository with git and I'm just going to uh, add uh, the code and I'm going to just push the source code to github repository. So this is the URL that we need to uh, use to map our local uh, you know branch to remote branch and then copy this command git branch hyphen m main hit enter then let's use git push hyphen u origin followed by main so let's push source code to main branch so once a source code you know uh, pushed to a github repository then what you can do is you can just click on this link to make sure that the source code is there on github repository all right guys we have successfully uh, you know hosted a source code up our angular application to github now the next step is we need to log into heroku and we need to create a new brand app in heroku right for that let's open new tab and just type heroku.com so i have already logged into heroku so make sure that uh, you log into heroku so once i will log into heroku you will see the dashboard here so click on new here and uh, create a new app so let me give app name as angular app demo heroku so this is available and choose a reason so i keep default as united states all right so we have created a new you know brand application in heroku guys and here look at here here are the three deployment methods heroku git connect to github and container registry so these are the three deployment methods 
and we are going to use connect to github deployment method to deploy our github repository on Heroku so here we are going to search a repository that we have just created right I have created and hosted the source code so let me copy this github repository name and paste it here and just search it all right and here we go so this is the github repository that we are going to deploy right and click on connect and look at here this is very important I just enable automatic deployments so that whenever you will push code you will uh, Heroku will automatically pick it up and click on deploy branch button here that's it guys so and uh, Heroku will take care all the things like it will download all the dependencies and it will set up the environment to build angular application okay let's wait a couple of seconds it does a lot of things So look at here, uh, Heroku is installing all the Angular packages, okay. So look at here, build succeeded and yeah, so compressing and launching. So look at here the application is successfully deployed on Heroku and this is the URL that uh, pointing to deployed application angular application on Heroku guys let's wait a second a loading output yeah here we go your app was successfully deployed and so just click on view button and here we go so look at here guys we have successfully deployed our angular application on Heroku and this is the URL all right so very pretty simple guys all right so let me uh, summarize the steps that we have followed we have created angular application we have configured our angular application to deploy properly on Heroku and then we have hosted source code of angular application on github then we logged into Heroku and created a new app in Heroku and then we have used connect github uh, deployment method to deploy a github repository on Heroku so very simple guys i hope you found this video useful subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in next video